Hello, this is Johnny, and welcome to more awesome collection, uh, collectible toys. Uh, this is uh, Mattel's Hot Wheels Sizzlers from way back in 1969. If you'd like, please subscribe, hit that notification bell, like, reply, and share. Uh, we've got an empty case here, and it says what's on there. And then we've got this one. Uh, we've got the car. You can see what's on there. It's a Firebird Trans Am. I'll open the case in a second. I will take a look here. There's the front. This is similar. This is the back showing the juice machine and the power pit. Uh, very cool. Uh, very fun. Put, I believe those were D sized batteries in here and then charge it up. I think it took about 90 seconds or so. And then they were ready to race around the track. Originally, they just go on the regular orange uh, Hot Wheels track. And then the next year, by 70, they came out with uh, their own uh, fat track, they called it. A, a black, wider track that they could all slitch and slotch around on big, uh, like, ovals and eights and stuff. They had different play sets. Lifetime power cell. Well, I don't know about that. Built-in motor, recharge them in 90 seconds, race them on Hot Wheels track, must be used with Sizzler's power pit or juice machine recharger by Mattel. Let's see, what does that sticker say? That was straight scoop. I believe that was uh, designed just for uh, Hot Wheels. Uh, let's take a look down in here. Which way is it going? We'll get to the car in a moment. Yeah, 1969. Car made in Mexico, motor made in Japan, printed in USA. This is way back then. Hawthorne, California. All what to do, how to get it off, show it off, race it. Use this to store. Tune-up tips. Operate the store. So that's the information there. Uh, these were neat. Always great things to get at a Christmas or a birthday. See, so open that right up. So when this was sold, this was attached right through there. Let's take a look at the car. You can open up. You can see the the engine in there. Very nice colors. So it's very much like the Hot Wheels, except. Uh, was meant to go super fast so that's uh, like regular plastic and then they have this uh, extra piece on there that's more like rubber you can see on there that's where it would push in there's the on off you can read that on there nineteen sixty nine Mattel Link uh, Mexico that was very unusual back then making something down there Part of it. There's the sticker, number eight. So they did uh, real cars types, and then they did fanciful uh, made-up ones just for uh, Sizzlers. I don't think in their time originally they were very popular, but they faded in popularity, and then they kind of brought them back a little bit in the like 1978. And then they were gone, then Johnny Lightning got a hold of the name, and then I guess uh, Hot Wheels didn't like that, and then uh, they came out with some, I don't know, 10, 15 years ago or more, they did some new resets of it, a, a slightly different version of it. These are the cl classic 1969 Sizzlers, Hot Wheels, Mattel. Always liked those Mattel toys. I'm a big Matt Mason fan, and Matt Mason and uh, Hot Wheels were the big toys, boys' toys from the late 60s into the early 70s, and then Hot Wheels continues to this day. Always remember Sizzlers. Very cool. Cats used to go nuts watching them racing around the track. They go super fast. Until next time, more awesome collection, classic toys. Thanks for watching.